Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I was do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today I'm establishing a new redstone lab on the Hermitcraft 2 server. And I thought one thing that would be really cool in building a new redstone lab would be to use redstone to decorate it. Now I'm still kind of digging out the basic structure here, but in terms of using redstone to actually decorate the lab, what I'm thinking about doing is getting me a bunch of, what do you call those, pistons, yes indeed, taking them and setting up essentially a piston tape. Now, let's see, I think that if I were to set up a piston tape though, and to have the, oh, and what I want to do for the piston tape is to make the, the ceiling of the redstone lab be a scrolling image of the sky. Does that make sense? So, um, what I would do is I would have, you know what, you guys might not even know what a piston tape is. So, let's, uh, let's start with the fundamentals. That's not, that's fundamentally wrong. What we got here is a failure to piston place. No! There. So, what we would do is we would place a bunch of pistons in a line like that, right there. And I think I actually want to go out, let's see... I wanted to do a 7x9 for the size here. So, yes. Okay, then that would go here. And, wait, yes. So, we would have pistons that, when extended, push wool across to here, which then runs into pistons which, when extended, push wool down. So, the pistons that push the wool down, I was actually, I had this in reverse because I wasn't thinking about the way that celestial bodies move properly. Yeah. So then I set this up, except this time I actually need them to point downward. Dang it. Uh, probably shouldn't have dug out the floor this much before starting on this. Okay. Let's try running up here since we're going to have to clear these out anyway so we can run redstone back behind here. And then we put that like so. Like so. Dang it, so close. Okay. So, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make more space here. So it looks like I'm the only one who is holding up the sleeping parade. So this this whole this whole exercise with the sleeping is completely moot, um, which is fine. So we're gonna go ahead and let's not waste any fancy stone on that. Let's run cobble along here for right now, and then we can put redstone on top of it. Now this little back channel here, we're gonna want to have properly lit so we don't have any mobs spawning inside of our redstone, as they are so wont to do. So it looks like we are not changing nothing today. Okay, so let me grab now some redstone dust here. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, really? That was only five? That must have been seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What, what the? How can I not count? How am I so bad at this? Anyway, well, these blocks here are going to have to be removed because they are going to be caught up in our piston tape otherwise. I think I'm going to have the piston tape be four high so that way if I need to edit the tape I, or, or uh, you know what let me explain what a piston tape is real quick. It's kind of like a series of it's kind of like in um you know in those old cartoons how they would show uh, like a, a background that would just run behind the character on like rollers like the character would be running and then there'd be the background on the rollers it's kinda like that essentially I make a continuous um, piston tape that looks like the sky um, which looks like you know night and day right and so the way we would do that so we've got two here now at this point below here this is where the pistons that face outward and push this way are going to go, right? So, what I'm going to need to do, whoops, it, well, let's go ahead and replace that. 
Now, the actual whole redstone lab will be far below here. This is just a skylight kind of, that's a fake skylight, because I, I, my mausoleum is directly above us, which would cause its own, you know, mausoleum-related, you know, shadow issues. So let me verify that these work. Really? Okay, so, so there's problem one. Um, problem one is that none of these pistons will fire. Um, workarounds for that include, don't know, um, let me, I guess I could use somebody above me, this is my house, get out, thought I heard somebody, um, let me, I guess I could use a bunch of these, but like, it seems like a shame to waste all these repeaters on something like this. And, of course, I don't have enough extra ladders to really make this worthwhile, but, hmm. Okay, well, so, if I put in all these repeaters here, then I've got the additional problem that I need to expand all this back further. Because, you know, now I have to have redstone that runs to all the repeaters, and that has to be on the same tier, or level, I guess, you could say, as everything else. So we're going to take this cobblestone here, run this along here okay so now that works so that's that's good um, this one we're gonna have to make work too though let's go ahead and set up some stairs back along here I've got kind of a grass ladder because I'm too lazy to use my silk touch I should probably not be too lazy to use my silk touch all the time but like I'm old-school Minecraft like that I just don't think about it I forget I have silk touch now, can I just lay redstone atop of these? Is that a thing that I can do? Hold on. No. I can't lay redstone on top of these. I can't lay redstone behind them. Oh, what if I put redstone underneath them? That doesn't work here because I have to have these push the, the tape downward, which also this is a terrible place for a torch because um, that's about to get hit by, you know, everything. Uh, let's just keep getting all this in place, though. So, five, six, seven. We're going to want to remove this here. And then I guess that our upward way from over here will be right here. And I'll get the rest of this coal later. Like I said, I'm just trying to... I'll, I'll build the, the rest of the lab. I didn't want to dig everything out before I'd worked on this because then I'd end up building scaffolding anyway, and then that would be just a big pain. So... I can run redstone underneath this. I can run redstone underneath that. Let's go ahead and come through here for that part of the process. I'm going to have to set up a clock back underneath some everything somewhere, somehow. Haven't figured out all of those sorts of specifics yet, but it'll, it'll be done. So we just come through here like so, just digging happily away, singing a happy digging song like, I got my pick. I'm using it, I'm using it, it is my pick, I'm gonna dig, dig in out stone, I ain't alone, cause monkey farm is here, and here is home, boom, 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 okay, so, and what I, uh, what, the reason I have the, uh, light sensor is eventually, I'd like to set this up, really? These things are worthless. I'm going to need like eight times as much redstone as I thought I would. Really? How do you... Oh, that that is just criminal. That That is criminal. What? Oh, man. Okay. So I won't be able to lay redstone underneath all of these. I'm going to have to run... Repeaters to every single one. That really... That feels wrong. But you know what? Let's go ahead and store a bunch of this extra cobble that I've grabbed. Boom, boom, boom. Cobble gone. And let's start work on the actual tape, and then we can worry about all that other stuff later. So I'm going to want to have... Oh, I should have brought quartz for the moon. I'll run upstairs and grab that in a bit. Um... I tried to anticipate. Originally, I wasn't going to do the sky. I was going to do, like, trees and do a whole landscape thing. But I realized 
it would be more interesting if it was the sky. So we can just put this down here. And so let's see, this will push down to here, which will push over. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and establish the entire night sky on the ground here. And we'll go ahead and set up some clouds as well, actually. Oh, I should have brought shears. Did not think about this very well. So, like, here's a big, puffy cloud. And we're going to need torches kind of all throughout here, I think, just to make sure stuff doesn't spawn on top of, or inside of this uh, tape. That will be silly if it does, and undesirable, in fact, as well. So we're going to have, like, a big cloud here. That seems kind of too, well, I can uh, adjust that a little bit. Bum bum, like so. I've never actually made anything like this before in Minecraft, so it's not going to be the best to start. Yeah, that cloud just feels a little bit, I don't know, off. I think I'm going to need to have the entire exposed sky here. And maybe... Yeah, maybe the cloud should be longer because the tape is... I'm kind of limited a little bit by how I'm going to dig everything out underneath this. So then what I'll do is I'll kind of have one there, one there. Kind of have this up like so. Don't want that. Okay, now actually I think the tape is going to technically need room to push everything. I think I need an extra gap in the tape. Oh, I'm going to have to figure all this out. Um, so, yeah, there's going to have to be one gap in the tape somewhere, and that's fine. I'll figure that out as I go. So, here is here's another cloud that's just kind of here. And we can just run that through like so. And have this kind of... Whoop. There we go. And what I was thinking about doing was on the sides here, having it reach a point where it kind of uh, fluctuates with these, like so. And then we have the daytime on top, right? So let's say that our gap for this, we're going to start... Uh-oh, baby and wife are back. Might have to time skip. I'll grab more repeater stuff. Time skip. See, I have the core concept basically functioning at this point. One thing that I decided to add was so I could debug this easier, I put in a series of obsidians over here such that there would not be any risk of me accidentally pushing the ribbon tape out of the order it's supposed to be in. Sorry for time skipping so much, but with uh, Marion home and uh, the baby, I couldn't record all my progress, and unfortunately, there was not going to be, like, they're out right now, but they're not going to be out forever, so I wasn't sure if I was going to have time to finish this if I kept going. So, one thing I'm actually thinking about doing, um, so this will be directly above my redstone lab, of course, but I might also want to possibly, well, I've got this sensor de sol to, you know, measure the sun or whatever, um, but unfortunately, what am I going to do? Like, I don't know enough about redstone to, to set this up for that just yet. I essentially initiated the trigger pulse by just putting a redstone torch here and then breaking it and then letting this run all the way around here. And, uh, excuse me. So this is sequentially illuminating each of these redstone wires and then pushing the pistons. But what I'm thinking about doing is actually, you know what, I might add a small viewing area up above here as well. So we can just come over here. It's a little loud. I don't like how loud it is. Oh, really? That's super obnoxious. We will just hop up here in this water stream here, like the mystical magic, magical mystery men we are. Okay. And so let's see. Let's go ahead and break some of this here. And I figure I'll put in some glass. Whoops. Oh, dang it. Am I out of pickaxes? That is a minor inconvenience at best, but that's okay. We will make do. And I think it goes out to here. It does! 
Oh, well, actually, I guess the easy way to do this would be just stand on top of here and knock out all these. So we can just come underneath, knock out all the dirt. I'm out of all tools! Let's go back here to our wonderful little, what do you call this area? Uh, workbench, crafting table thing. Our crafting stable. Oh, I should put a bunch of horses around where I craft things and then call it my crafting stable. Okay, so now we have both of the tools we need in order to complete our build here. And so we can just go ahead and wipe out all the dirt easily, quickly, efficiently, fastly, vastly, superiorly, with great excellence, with great power, with great strength, with great skill, with great talent, with great will, with great wowin'. I don't, I don't, well that one kind of got away from me. Um, you know what I'm kind of thinking though is that this viewing window, maybe we shouldn't go all the way as wide as the entire thing. Like, in fact, maybe we should, whoa, falling through this wall is apparently a concern. Maybe our viewing window here should be limited, like, whoa, wool falling, not enjoying that. That's why conveyor belts don't really work in the game for players using pistons, because you'll, like, slip through them, unfortunately, if you're not careful. So we're just going to break this floor, like so, and leave this frame around it here. And we're going to go ahead and fix the parts of the frame that are ugly now, because we've got these extra um, smooth... Uh, sandstone blocks that we're not using for anything else, of course. So, smooth... Bleh. Terrible placement. Boom. Going around here. And up to here. And, oh, what was I saying, though? I might keep the frame, actually, a little bit wider. Just around here, like so. Whoa. Glitching through the floor. Do not enjoy that. Okay. So then I'll go ahead and get some glass and set that up along here. Yay, additional sandstone. That's always nice. And so let's see how this actually looks. Um, from up there, you're going to be able to see, I, I worry, you're going to be able to see the pistons and all that too easily. How do you make the smooth sandstone? Oh, there it is. Like that. Look at me. I'm, I'm making wonderful things here. Not enough of them. Wait, but if I go there... See? Look at that. Oh, well, now I'm out again. Good planning, Joe. Good planning. So I'm going to need a lot of these to go all the way around the outside of here, aren't I? So we can just kind of... Well, we're not going to need one there, actually. That would be actually an optimal place for a torch, so it can glitch and be silly. Okay, so, whoa, dang it, I should probably turn this thing off while I'm working up here, and that's suboptimal placement as well. Place a torch, so we don't do that again, and, dang it, I'm, I'm four for four on this, I think I've done that literally every time. Okay, so, here we go, um, should I run this all the way down? I'm not gonna have enough, or I, am I? Or I, or I have enough. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to need more sandstone. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's quickly run to the desert and grab more sandstone. Sand skip. Oh, I, I should probably go grab uh, more shovels, too. Because that would be silly. S and I should write this in an ancient Indian language. Sanskrit. So here we are at the awesome sand quarry, which is where all the server sand will come from, other than the rest of the sand on the server that will come from erosion. Uh, I don't know. How does sand get made? I think it's a silicate that's made by rocks rubbing against other rocks or water. I don't know. Go Wikipedia it after this video, but not before. And then you can tell, you know, your friends. Instead of saying, hey, I learned something from that Joe Hills video today, you can say... Joe Hills taught me how to teach myself because he's ignorant and didn't know the answer to something. You know what? That's that's how this works. Boom. You know what would be funny is if we did like a daily comment thing where every day we um, people posted instead of instead of being the first person to post a comment being cool, it's the first person to post a new random fact 
that's never been posted before. Oh good, I can't wait until this zombie summons a billion zombie buddy friends. Somehow they are not here yet. Good, let's continue to hew away at this sand with our shovels that we might be victorious in our uh, pranking of Venom Kisser, who if you have not figured it out yet, I was actually building under Venom Kisser's house because she used a bunch of wool to vandalize my house but inadvertently made it more beautiful, or maybe advertently. I'm going to use a bunch of wool to vandalize her house and inadvertently or advertently make it more beautiful because that's the kind of guy I am. I like making pranks that are actually kind of cool. And, uh, like the spoon prank that, you know, only took a minute, that was nice. But it, uh, it, it doesn't have that same stay in power. And the duck, you know, we knew he was going to take that down. We knew he was breaking down that building anyway. So we're not, a, you know, but like, I liked, uh, you know, for example, with Biffa's Rainbow, making something that, you know, stayed up forever. Um, that was cool. I like it because it kind of gives the server a sense of permanence. That is one of the fun parts of playing on an SMP server, you know. We're not griefing, we're collaborating without um, talking to each other first. It's it's a surprise collaboration, I guess, is kind of how I see pranking on servers. So it looks like we've already got enough sand here that we can start making some serious sandstone. And then we can start taking our serious sandstone and making us some serious smooth sandstone. And, uh, wait, is this already smooth sandstone? That's already smooth sandstone. I'm I'm silly. Okay, but you guys get the core concept. Oh my goodness, I'm m missing the core concept of how to use these stupid uh, crafting benches. I clearly need to practice that more. I'm gonna have to do crafting bench, crafting bench. I can't even say the word boot camp because I'm so frustrated over stumbling over that crafting bench placement. But man, oh, you know what we should do too is that the facts that people post in the comments should have a theme every week. Like, this week's theme will be the water cycle. So, if you want to be first commenter, then your comment had better be about the water cycle. Otherwise, I'm going to delete it. Like, I don't like deleting people's comments, but if it's, like, the rules of the game and not the rules of, like, freedom of speech, then that's a little bit different. So, yeah. First comments this week all had to be about the water cycle. And you cannot use the same comment about the water cycle that someone else posted, or seriously, it will get deleted. Boom. Joe Hills fixed it. Okay, so I think at this point we have enough sand, and... Oh, I probably should have just go, gone and stolen sandstone from those buildings. Because presumably whoever lives there is terrible and doesn't deserve to have them anymore. Dang it, this stupid quadruple drag is like the hardest thing. I can do, like, anything else in this game easily, but just not that quadruple drag. It always ends up as a triple drag. But anyway, boom. Hopefully all that'll be left here eventually will be a, a terrifying wasteland. Oh, wait, there's sandstone under the sand. I forgot about that. I hope this is the right direction to get back to the spawn. Yay, it is. Also, King Happy actually has been constructing a, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, spawn portal room keep people safe when they first come out of the portals here. So that's kind of a nice addition. Also, my, my um, as far as I know, Spoon hasn't even seen my Spoony smile because Cleo built a, a watermelon golem thing in front of it and then put in like a whole bunch of congregants who all repent for different things, which I think is a pretty funny prank, although that one lost its head. What does that say? Brian rep repents for losing his head in an argument. Okay, Cleo. That that wins clever points. Clever points are, of course, redeemable in no anywhere. There's nowhere those are redeemable. I'm almost really good at jumping into that right now, but I'm not quite. Okay. So. I love the... The great thing about the Obsidian, too, is that if this thing starts to, like, get off time with itself, it'll just automatically correct. Like, it's self corrected Oops, okay. So now, we're probably going to want to put, I'm guessing, having these along here would be the, the prettiest thing to do. I could have built this entire structure up a little bit higher, but I didn't want to actually get into her floor. Whoops, that's the wrong place for those. Oh, tell me I'm not out of these already. Okay, good. If I, if I had just, like, if I was going to have to run all the way back again, I was going to be less than pleased. Okay, so here we go. So here is your beautiful floor, Venom Kisser. 
And you know what? It might need it might need some glowstone, honestly, or or something. Excellent. Um, yeah, this this kind of pretty much works. And then I'll just place this here and here. And now we should be all set. Let's go take a look at it and come back to the surface. What a breath of fresh air. Not yet, but now. Oh, wow, what a breath of fresh air now, finally, that we are at the surface. We'll get that on our way home. Yay, it's too far down to really be good, but whatever. It's the sky. So, we will just leave a nice sign here. Venom Kisser. Oh, nope, forgot the zero. Venom Kisser. I thought you needed a better view of the sky. Sincerely and graciously. Because you always want to be gracious when you do stuff like this. Graciously. Joe Hills. And then in parentheses, at Joe Hills, just so she knows that I'm me. Actually, I should put a space here. There we go. Done. Light it up. Wow, that's literally the same light level. Why is it stuck? Oh, there we go. Cool, so that'll just run forever now. And so she'll have a beautiful view of the sky, even though she is on the first floor and there's a second floor above her. So, I think that is a reasonable prank. We just need to finally come back down here, make sure we have closed off the access point. Where? It, oh, maybe I'm doing it reflexively at this point. Oh, there it is. Boom. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. We are all set. So, anyway. I should probably do this where I have a view of the thing, because that's where signing off is. Oh, look, that sky is changing. Oh, I should have done... I should have done a, a, like, a sunrise sunset with, like, pink and, and stuff in there. Oh, but the sun wouldn't be in the, that part. Oh, well. Well, I'll figure it out later. So, anyway, this has been my first experiment with piston tapes and designs. I'm hoping to actually do more of these, but this is, this is a decent start, I think. So, anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.